Genesis chapter 9 verses 8 to 15. God's covenant with Noah when he was delivered from the flood, God said to Noah and to his sons with him, See, I am now establishing my covenant with you, and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that was with you, all the birds, and the various tame, and wild animals that were with you, and came out of the ark. I will establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all bodily creatures be destroyed by the waters of a flood. There shall not be another flood to devastate the earth. God added, This is the sign that I am giving for all ages to come, of the covenant between me and you and every living creature with you, I set my bow in the clouds to serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth, when I bring clouds over the earth, and the bow appears in the clouds. I will recall the covenant I have made between me and you and all living beings, so that the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all mortal beings. Biblically we see God establish several covenants with his people and each of the covenants builds upon the previous covenant. A covenant is not a contract. A contract is a temporary arrangement in which you agree to purchase an item at a certain price and agree to pay a certain amount monthly for the purchase, and the contract ends at a specific time. A covenant, on the other hand, is a permanent, not a temporary arrangement and it is established by a solemn oath, not by a simple signature, and lasts forever, not a short period of time. In the chart that follows you will see God establishing a covenant with a single couple and over time the covenants expand to encompass the world. The mediator of the covenant is a person through whom God establishes the covenant, and who acts as a representative of those involved. Think of yourself as one of the men on the road to Emmaus. The road represents your life, and with every curve of the road you enter a new chapter in your book of life. For us our lives may seem haphazard, but they are part of God's plan. When we chose to step off the road, to sin, like Israel did there are consequences to our behavior, but the results of the consequences are not to punish us, but to encourage us to get back on the road that will eventually lead us to heaven. As we journey along life's road, our goal isn't a small town called Emmaus, it is the kingdom of God in heaven. It is our free will that will determine our eternal destination. The key that unlocks heaven's gates is righteousness.